welcome back to another part so in our previous part or in our previous uh, tutorials where we have completed this home page and uh, we have only designed the home page inside figma but right now for this part we're gonna explore inside the editor area so there is no design here right now because uh, there is a lot of things that i would like to share so that you can understand uh, in more depth like uh, in the future it will help you to navigate and create any kind of wordpress websites if you're using block editor now before going to start creating our next uh, sections or next template i'd like to share with you something here you can see there is some updates when you are working on any client projects make sure you have update the theme and the plugins on a regular basis because it will help you to update your workflow and keep the latest version at the same time now as you can see there is a new version uh, is displaying 1.1 2025 wordpress theme i'm going to update this one so we just updated to 1.1 and now go to plugins and see uh, which plugin we should update so the sbz support requires update it's a good practice to keep all the plugins update here now we have updated the plugins and now in this part we will gonna explore the templates so inside the templates if i click over here you can navigate the templates from the appearance and editor and then here you can see this editor area now when i click on templates there is a lot of templates like those are default templates that is displaying from the default wordpress theme default 2025 wordpress theme and in in this series tutorial we are going to create some additional templates based on our structure or the current websites and also my goal is to share with you how the template works now we're gonna explore one by one from all archive to single post and i will explain each and every single template here so now in this part i'm gonna explore all archive template so before showing all archive template here let me show you what is all archive and how does it work if I go to the dashboard and go to post all post so you can see there is tags there is a categories and there is author you have to understand this part very carefully if you do not understand you will not gonna understand the next part of this series tutorial it's very important so for each tags each categories and each author we can create individual template now for an example if i go to categories in this category this category has three posts it's displaying as three posts and this is a random category that we have created using the dummy content generator and let's view this category by clicking over here and open a new tab so this is how it looks like now as of now inside the editor you can see there is all archives and this all archives style is displaying here inside the category archive page so this is the category archive page and this page style is displaying from all archive now if i click add new template here you can see there is an options to add a category archive so if I create a category archive, which is a custom category archive, then it will only display when you visit any category like this one, QE. So as always, by default, it will always display all archive template for categories and tags. Even if you haven't created any search templates, it will be displaying from all archive. So let me go to the add new template again so you can see here there is author archive category archive date archive tag archives so if you haven't created all these four archive page individually if you haven't created any of them then for all those four archive page it will display all the styles from this all archive template now 
if we create an individual author archive page, it will not gonna display from all archive. If I create a date archive page, it will not gonna display from all archive. It will display from the date archive if we create any archive page. So I hope now you have some clear understand or clear information how it works. Now this is the most important part. You can see WordPress hierarchy. So basically this is uh, when uh, you are working as a theme developer or if you want to understand how the templating works then you will be able to understand this part. But as of now I just wanted to share with you a basic things here. If you take a look at the archive page here the archive page goes to author archive, category archive, custom post type archive, custom taxonomy archive, date archive and tag archive. So if you create all archive page and if you haven't created any of them from here then it's displaying by default all archive page. When you navigate to category archive, author archive, post archive. The same goes here for single page if you haven't created any single page template for a static page, single post page or custom post type it will be displaying from here the parent one if you haven't created any of them and uh, there is a lot of uh, other template parts and template things that if you want to know more I would like to request you spend some time here to understand how the archive singular and front page blog post works so you can understand here like the blog post or index page is basically referring to home page until you have selected the home page from your settings area so what i mean if you haven't selected the home page from settings and readings if you haven't selected any of them then it will be displaying the index page that means here you can see this index page well uh, i will go through a step by step but i hope you have some clear idea how all archive page works and how it looks like when we create or change any archive page. Let's say for an example, change the archive page layout quickly. So click over here, go to the query templates and select post and change it to the grid layout and save changes. So I have changed the grid layout from all archive page. And now if I go to category archive and reload, it will display as a grid layout. But we haven't created anything or changed anything inside the category archive because of there is no category archive created from the editor and that's why it's taking the default all archive template when we visit a category archive. The same goes if we visit date archive it will be displaying the all archive templates because we haven't created the date archives yet. So it's a little bit confusing things but I hope you have some clear idea now but after watching this video just pause the video and try to understand and play around with the archive template and other templates here but in the series tutorial I will explain each of every single template from here and show you the output and results. So that's all for the discussion for archive template and in our next part I'll start creating or designing the archive page one by one.